Hi everyone, my name is Sergey Baidachny and I'm a principal technical evangelist at Microsoft Canada. Last week I had a chance to visit Maker Fair event where lots of makers presented their drones, robots and other stuff. And Microsoft had a booth there and I had a chance to present my own robots and drones based on different microcontrollers like Arduino, Galileo, Raspberry Pi 2, Netduino and so on. But usually people ask me the same question. Uh, what Microsoft is doing here or why Microsoft is presenting all this stuff? The answer is very simple because I used Visual Studio 2015 in order to build software for all my robots and drones. So in this video I am going to make a short overview how to use Visual Studio 2015 to develop Internet of Things related software. First of all, you need to install Visual Studio 2015 itself. In order to do it, you can visit visualstudio.com site and you can find several important links there for developers. I would recommend to install Visual Studio Community Edition. Visual Studio Community Edition allows to create lots of different project types. It contains lots of different project templates and you can even create Android and iOS applications thanks to integration uh, with Xamarin and thanks to integration with Apache Cordova. Uh, later you can subscribe to Visual Studio Online. Thanks to Visual Studio Online you can manage uh, full development lifecycle from scratch. Visual Studio Online contains task requirement tracking systems. Uh, it uh, integrates uh, with some um, version control systems including Git. It uh, supports lots of different reports, it uh, supports uh, some dashboards, etc. Um, and if you don't have any Windows device, um, you can install Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is a new lightweight integrated development environment uh, and what is more important, it cross-platform development environment and you can install it on macOS and Linux as well. So, once you have Visual Studio 2015 Community Edition, you can start develop your Internet of Things solutions. Of course, I am going to start with Windows 10 on IoT devices. Um, and in order to start, in order to find the right image, in order to find instructions around IoT and Windows 10, it's better to visit dev.windows.com site. In my case, I am going to open Docs Windows IoT category and it will navigate us to a page uh, where you can find links to different projects based on Raspberry Pi 2, based on Arduino, based on Arduino and so on. In my case, I am going to click Get Started. Uh, clicking Get Started, I can select my um, device uh, from the list. You can see that uh, right now we have several devices uh, with uh, support of Windows 10. Uh, of course, the most popular is Raspberry Pi 2. So all what you need um, in case if you have Raspberry Pi 2, just select this board and you can see instructions how to set up your Raspberry Pi, how to set up your device, how to set up your PC. In case of uh, PC, of course, you need to download Visual Studio 2015, we already made it. Uh, in case of device, you can download um, image, Windows 10 image uh, for your Raspberry Pi 2 directly from this page. Uh, you should not pay anything and uh, you should not uh, fill any uh, strange forms and so on. So just uh, navigate to download page and just download ISO image for your Raspberry Pi 2. Once uh, you uh, finish installation of your Raspberry Pi 2 board um, and once you install all needed components, you can start develop um, Windows 10 solutions directly for Raspberry Pi 2. In case of Windows 10 applications on Raspberry Pi 2, you should not think uh, about um, Raspberry Pi itself, yeah? Because we have the same core, we have the same application platform on all Windows 10 devices right now. So uh, all what you need to do is to 
create a simple Windows 10 application, which uh, can be run on Raspberry, can be run on Windows uh, 10 desktops, laptops, uh, phones, and so on. So in case of Visual Studio 2015 and Raspberry Pi 2 on, Raspberry, um, on Windows 10, you simply need to select blank application, blank universal Windows application uh, for Windows 10. You can provide um, a custom name, click OK, and Visual Studio will create a folder and will initialize it um, using the standard uh, components like main page XAML and you can start uh, develop your own interface using the standard set of controls uh, from Universal Windows platform. Uh, you can find manifest there, you can find application XAML there, and so on. Of course, once your application is ready, you need to deploy and debug it on Raspberry. In order to do it, you simply need to select ARM, process, uh, ARM CPU and uh, you need to select remote machine uh, for deploying and debugging. Uh, in this uh, window, you need to disable authentication and you need to provide IP address of your Raspberry. So you can connect uh, your Raspberry using Wi-Fi adapter to your network or you can use cable to connect it directly uh, to your router. So it's not a problem. Uh, simply provide an IP address and um, you can start deploy and debug your application directly on Raspberry. Okay, what if I don't have Raspberry Pi 2 board? Uh, how I can use Visual Studio to develop um, other kind of applications? Uh, let's go back to devwindows.com. Uh, Let's click get started once again and you can find that Microsoft publishes information not just about Windows uh, 10 compatible boards but about uh, Arduino boards as well. You can find information how to uh, create Windows virtual shields for Arduino, how to uh, create some universal Windows platform providers. My favorite category uh, here is Windows Remote Arduino. Thanks to these instructions, you can create uh, Windows 10 applications uh, which allows to manage Arduino boards using Bluetooth module. So you can simply buy a Bluetooth module connected to your Arduino based robots, drones and use uh, Windows 10 tablet or Windows 10 uh, phone um, in order to manage your robots and drones. Okay, but what if you want to use Visual Studio to create uh, software and to debug it directly for Arduino? Frankly speaking, you can do it as well. Uh, for example, you can uh, find a component, a special plugin called uh, Visual Micro. Uh, and you can download this plugin for Visual Studio 2015. Uh, this plugin allows to develop Arduino software directly inside Visual Studio 2015. And what is more important, you will be able to use not just IntelliSense system, you will be able to use not just uh, standard Arduino libraries, but you will be able to use debug features of Visual Studio 2015 as well. So it's very important uh, component and I would recommend uh, to download it. Uh, the, the basic version you can download for free and uh, it's very powerful and uh, it's really help uh, to create a quality software for Arduino. Okay, so you can develop uh, Windows 10 applications for Raspberry. You can uh, use Visual Studio 2015 to create software for Arduino, but what about other boards? Uh, I want to show um, some additional boards as well. For example, I would recommend to use NetDuino board. NetDuino board is a board which uh, is based on .NET Micro framework. .NET Micro framework was designed Microsoft and by default you can use C Sharp in order to develop applications for .NET Micro framework. Uh, the latest version of 
uh, hardware is NetDuino 3. You can find uh, NetDuino boards uh, with network socket inside or even with Wi-Fi model inside. I would recommend to buy NetDuino with Wi-Fi model, of course, uh, and it allows you to connect it to internet uh, very quickly. And uh, of course, you can download .NET Micro Framework and you can download NetDuino libraries, uh, which will help you to create um, applications in C Sharp in Visual Studio, of course. The next uh, one uh, micro board based on .NET Micro Framework is Gadgeteer board. Gadgeteer boards uh, were designed for people who don't have any knowledge in electronics. You should not think about uh, different type of pins. Uh, you should not uh, have knowledge about I2C, SPI, uh, GPIO, etc. You simply need to have a board, uh, some sensors, and you can easily connect all these sensors to the board using um, special connectors. And uh, you can develop software for Gadgeteer because it's based on .NET Micro Framework. You can use Visual Studio, of course, and you can use C Sharp as well. Uh, I would recommend to use these boards at um, elementary or probably high schools. And finally, I want to show one more controller. This controller called EasyB controller and uh, you can find it visiting easyrobot.com site. Uh, this company is located in Calgary and um, it uh, produces lots of different robots. But of course, they have uh, own controller, they designed own microcontroller as a mind for all their robots. And you can create uh, management software for this controller. Uh, visiting software tab, you can find lots of different SDKs there. And I would recommend to use Windows 10 SDK, of course. Uh, they um, published source code for this SDK, so you can simply download this source code. You can find uh, some examples there, and you can connect this controller. Um, if you don't even if you don't want to buy a robot, you can connect this controller to your own robots, to your own drones. You can connect camera, for example, to that to this controller, and you can manage it uh, using your own application running on Windows Phone, running on tablet, Windows 10 tablet, and so on. So finally, using Visual Studio 2015, you can develop uh, software for lots of different microcontrollers. I cannot make overview to all of them, but Visual Studio 2015 is everywhere right now. Uh, if you want to know more about how to develop Internet of Things solutions, if you want to uh, know more about even about easy robot controller, about Nadduino, about Raspberry Pi 2, I would recommend to uh, visit Canadian Developer Connection, MSDN Borg, so box.msdn.com, CDN devs, um, and you can find um, lots of uh, my articles there. For example, you can um, put IoT using search uh, field, and you can find links uh, how to connect Raspberry and um, Arduino. You can find links how to use Visual Studio Micro for Arduino. Uh, how to use Raspberry Pi 2 and so on. So you can uh, see that we have several pages of different articles around Internet of Things and I hope that we will publish more articles. Thank you for your time and let's start using Visual Studio 2015, not just for Windows, for web, but for Internet of Things solutions as well. Cartana? Yes, master. Activate my robot. Your wish is my command, master. Cartana? Activate my drone. Here is no raspberry. But who are you? I am Cortana.